Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will define the computational Diffie-Hellman problem. This is one of the Diffie-Hellman problems. Let us assume we are given a cyclic group G and a small g, which is generator of the group. Let us pick two elements, H1 and H2, from the group G, which means H1 should be equal to uh, G power X1 and H2 must be equal to G power X2. This is possible because we are working with cyclic group G. Okay, so let's define a function dH H1 comma H2 as follows. dH of H1 comma H2 is nothing but G power X1, X2. Okay, this is the dH function. So what is the CDH problem? The CDH problem is that if you randomly select two elements, say H1 and H2 from G, uh, it is it should be impossible to compute dH of H1, H2 in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, that, that's a very informal definition. So given H1 and H2, one should not be easily able to compute g power x1, x2. That is the computational Diffie-Hellman problem. You will see that when I talk about key exchange, this is the, the key assumption that uh, we would uh, leverage, okay? Let's assume you were able to somehow solve a uh, discrete logarithm problem and found out, say, x1, okay, from h1 and g. Then all you have to do is just go here and plug in here, right? You know h2 is public. You are given x2 also. It is an input, right? X1, h1 and h2 are inputs. So H2, and you already managed to find X1. So H2 power X1 is nothing but G power X1, X2. So you, you are able to solve the uh, dH problem. Okay, uh, but the assumption of the computational Diffie-Hellman problem is that it should be difficult to compute uh, dH of H1, H2 in a reasonable amount of time, you know, from a computational per time perspective. Maybe you say it should be impossible to find X1 in the next 25 years. I'm just making up an example. 25 may not be sufficient or even 100 years, okay? So you could you could define a difficulty like that, but I just want to get across the idea of computational Diffie-Hellman across. So let us consider the other direction. Suppose let's assume the Diffie-Hellman uh, problem is hard, meaning given H1, given G, it's, it's difficult to find X1. Does it mean that uh, DH is also difficult to compute? DH of H1, H2? We don't know. It could be possible that there is a way to compute g power x1, x2 without even computing x1, x2. Okay, let me say it this way. There is no equivalence between a hardness of the discrete problem and computing the dH computational Diffie-Hellman problem. Okay, meaning it may be the case that the discrete logarithm problem remains hard, yet it is possible to compute dH of h1, h2. That's an interesting uh, point to make here. All right, that's all. Thank you very much.